I've been asked to read the words of a man who's given a lot of heart to a lot of people um, for boldly speaking out uncompromisingly and truthfully. A man who I have uh, incredible love and respect for. Uh, his name is Sean Penn. I'm going to give it my best, Sean. Uh, the arrogant, the misguided, the profiteers and the cowards would argue that an immediate pullout of our troops from Iraq would inspire lack of confidence and the lost credibility of the United States. President Bush and his functionaries indeed have lost enormous credibility for the perception of our country internationally, perhaps more damaging than that. They have created the greatest cultural, religious, and political divide domestically since our own civil war. We the people of the United States have a unique opportunity. We can show each other and the world what the Bush administration claims is their mission is not ours. And by leading our country as a citizenry and demanding of our government an immediate end to our own military and profit investments in Iraq, display for the entire world that democracy is a government of people. What more powerful message to send to the world than that we ourselves can choose in policy, in peace, and in humanitarian support. In fascism, one serves a state. Let's show the world that with democracy we can make the state do our bidding and that such bids would not be the blind ones given exclusively to the friends of power, but rather the domain of the people of freedom everywhere. This is an administration that advocates torture, deceives the public, spends billions of dollars on a failed war. This is an administration where the year of Katrina, ExxonMobil claimed the highest profit margin in the history of the world. It's an administration that belittles, demeans, deceives, and indeed kills our brothers and sisters, our, our sons and our daughters. At the U.S.-Mexico border, we panic at the notion of illegal entry without blinking an eye as our elderly line up every Saturday morning with wheelchairs, walkers, canes, and joint pain queued up in the desert heat to enter Mexico where they can purchase affordable medication. In the human family, the president indeed is pushing his wheelchair-bound grandmother down the stairs with a smile on his face. Everyone knows that these statements are true. Everyone. Some are ashamed of where they have put their support in the past, their passivity in the present, with the courage of their minds and hearts at bay. What an exciting thing to reverse this as one America and show the world who wears the pants in our house. Stand up as an American and join World Can't Wait and those demonstrating this Thursday, October 5th, out of Iraq and out with Bush.